Hello. Take these chances, nigga. Cause I gotta win. Finesse, finesse. Put all this work, nigga. Get all this work, nigga. Finesse, finesse. Don't need my clock, nigga. Don't make me hurt, nigga. Finesse, finesse. Yeah, she nigga. episode of politicking want to thank everybody for tuning in showing your love on social media platforms and all that and uh today i just want to um talk about the obvious um remy ma possibly allegedly most likely and then the Nicki Minaj's career. Her career might be just um, another shot in the ass. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say before we get into it, I've been noticing a lot of women being angry at the male perspective on this situation being angry that men are going just as hard on Nicki Minaj like they went hard on Meek Mill. Um, But what I have to say is this is gender equality at its finest. So you can't be crying and begging for equality and in, in this world and not want to take some of the the things that come with it that may not be so favorable, if you will. But uh, back to the subject. <laughs> um, yeah, Remy Ma, she just unleashed some crazy, uh, like, seven and a half, eight-minute video or diss track, if you will. This is Nicki Minaj, and she came hard. Like, she came hard, and I respect it, you know, just for the for the sake of hip-hop, it being what I've been telling y'all, if y'all been following the podcast, I've been saying it, you know, like, the roles have been reversed. Like, it's the women that's, that's doing certain things that the men is too soft to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but what can you do when a nigga grew up without his daddy? He grew up with his mom and his aunties and his grandmas and, you know, so he only know the woman's perspective. So we can't be mad that it's now the women that are leading the force with the strength and the um, the leadership to to fight. You feel me? So... Yeah, I, I definitely like what it's doing for the sake of hip hop. I'm not surprised. I mean, I am a little thrown off because I was hearing stuff like I thought they were cool for real. Like they always would seem like they cool, but you know, I hear uh, this this track that Nicki Minaj just did. I forgot if it was the one she did with. Uh, the Jason Derulo dude or or uh, the Swalla or whatever song it is. I don't know what the name of the song is, but I heard both verses. And she was getting off like she spit. And I was like, all right. So that makes sense why Remy Ma came hard. But now what's going to make her break, Nicki Minaj is how she respond. Because she got to hit hard. You know what I'm saying? And uh, side note, Meek Mill, humble yourself. Do not jump out the window just yet, my friend. You can still get these jokes straight up. Um, Dancing in the video to the to the diss track to to the to the girl that you 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 couldn't rap sixteen, let alone 
four bars without mentioning the fact that you got the hottest chick in the game. And, and yeah, yeah, nigga, humble yourself, brother. But um, I feel like, yeah, she spit. She came off. You know, Remy Ma had to come with some shit. Because... She she got right at her, and, and Nicki Minaj can't say, oh, it wasn't that her, because you said you waited two years, gave her a chance, some shit like that, boom. We all know who the fuck you're talking about. You know, when people try to downplay it, like, no, I'm not talking about that, that that insults our our intelligence as a as a as a as a group of people that like hip hop or rap music and. And, and not so much bias because, oh, it's a woman and, like, I don't care. Like, I've seen women freestyle battles against dudes and they eat these niggas up. And it's, what are you going to do? You're going to just not give her that? You're going to just ignore it because she's a woman and he's a man? Nah, I fucked that. The nigga, he, he wasn't man enough to handle her. Fuck it. That's how I look at it. So, you know, I feel like we just got to make sure... Um, we just get a respect where it's due, but, but yeah, so Remy Ma, she, she went all out. I feel like the way she came at her on all angles and, um, different things like that. Some of it may, may be true. Some of it may not be true. That's not the fact. The fact is that the way she delivered it, the way she spit it, you know, I hear some niggas saying, oh, she was a little off the beat, woo doo woo woo it, 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 in certain moments, it's about the lyrics. You feel me? So sometimes a lyricist might not be able to hit that that boom right on point because it's a certain point that they have to make. But then they make up for that little slack off in that that three bars prior that'll make it up to where it's like, oh, that makes sense why he did it like that or why she did it like that to where I feel like everything about it was perfect. I liked it. I think it was it was definitely something you had to do when you come at somebody like Nicki Minaj because you got the barbs and that's just real. Like Nicki Minaj got 30-year-old women calling themselves Barbies, bitches wearing bright, bright pink hair with lashes to their nose, you feel me? It's, it's, it's real out here. And um, you got to respect the movement, you know? But at the same time, you can't pop shit and not respond to the to the reaction, you know? Because you could have you could have thought Remy Ma might have been on some shit like, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about the disses and this and that. I know you're talking about me and left it on Twitter, but she came at you with bars. So now it's time to see if you could if you could really do everything you was telling your man to do when he was getting ate up. Like, shout out Issa Rae. She said the dopest thing. Nicki Minaj, don't meet this shit up. Don't don't meet this up. Cause if you meet this up, it's gonna be bad for your career. You know? And then y'all might as well get back together now, cause y'all both got a lot more in common. Y'all got a lot more in common now for sure. Like <laughs> she's on the verge to be taking the L damn near 95% of this year as well like he took when he took his L's let's just hope because she's with the person that gave her ex his L's he can rub off some type of you know winning solution to her but she got to spit you know what I'm saying cause she hit hard she talked about everything she talked about ass shots safari fucking niggas that you say you didn't but you know allegedly you you did I mean not allegedly you did to me allegedly you did I feel like you did allegedly but I mean who gives a fuck it only becomes a story when you lie about it. You feel me? <laughs> Who gives a fuck that you fuck these niggas? They fuck a lot of people too, I'm sure. Not necessarily saying they are what you would expect them to fuck. A lot of these niggas is under the closet. Not in the closet, but under the closet. 
but you got to watch that shit. But your business is your business. But um, another thing I, I noticed, you know, with uh, CIAA weekend, um, Young Dolph. So his SUV was shot up um, by a machine gun, some type of rifle, probably an AK. Now niggas with the Draco. <laughs> You know, but um, I just want to say he's a smart nigga, but just we gon' we gon' we gon' continue on. But I'm gonna say he's a smart nigga for that because he knew better. But he's also a dummy because the fact that you feel like you have to be on the scene to a point where you have to invest in an all bulletproof SUV is just what trips me out. It's like, come on, bro. You out here flashing money, stunting, beefing with niggas, and you still feel the need to want to be on the scene your followers ain't gonna go down because you didn't you wasn't at at this weekend. Your money ain't gonna go down because I'm sure it was parties other places, it's places that was willing to pay you what you made to perform there if you performed there. I don't know the the details. This is me just thinking, why would a nigga be there if you knew he had to get a fucking army tank to transport him? You 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 not you you really not um careful or either you just don't care for your life you know or the ones that surround you because yeah the fucked up shit that y'all weak rappers like to um do is make shit that ain't cool cool so instead of niggas using their mind like why the fuck would you get a bulletproof truck instead they looking at it like oh this nigga got a bulletproof truck nigga ooh look nigga look, look at the motherfucking wheels you know like come on man like be smarter oh yeah that's just cool for what for the president you feel me but nigga you, you a rapper my nigga like at the end of the day, you're an entertainer because if you're really doing the shit that you're rapping about, you'd probably be in jail. Not trying to insinuate anybody, but you know what I'm saying? It's true. If you do dirt, you'll probably be locked up for it. So the jig is up. We know a lot of you niggas that's rapping about killing niggas and killing grandmas and shit, y'all really ain't doing it. You probably know a nigga that's doing it. You probably seen a nigga do it at one point in time when you was like three years old, four years old. And somebody told you that you seen it. <laughs> I don't know. But I just feel like we need to we need to just focus on the real. So let's be real. We can have fun and be real. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's cool to 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 not be the norm, you know? It's cool, because it's entertaining. Real shit, you know? But when you you trying to constantly portray something that you're not, you look like a fool. So, yeah, you get street cred, my nigga, because you got a bulletproof truck. But overall... You just put more of a target on your back. Now, when you want to dip off in that Lambo, that bitch better be bulletproof. You better have a top on it at all times. That's the reality. You might got kids, you might not. I don't know. But, uh, 
y'all fuck niggas. Y'all, y'all need to be taking the L of the of the year. Weak rappers. But uh, I also um, wanted to talk about if education. No, I was just joking. <laughs> But uh, hip hop is fun right now. I like where it's going. You got you got singers and shit trying to denounce their party and with with Remy Ma was saying, "Oh yeah, no, nah, I ain't fuck Nicki Minaj." Like nigga, yeah, you did. Like shut the fuck up. You fucked her. You now you just embarrassed because you fucked the girl with a fake butt. That's what it really is. <laughs> Uh, you fake, you fucked that fake booty bitch, nigga. Yeah, you did. Cool line. That, that's what it come down to. Cause nigga so real. You feel me? You, 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 if you as real as you say you, 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 the last thing you could do is be caught fucking a bitch with a fake body. Yeah, I don't care how bad the media maker scene, social media maker scene, whatever you want to call it. Chances are she ain't as bad as, as they making it. You feel? Because if you wake up with the bitch and she don't look like, and you feel like you just meeting her all over again, yeah. Now you know. Me, I, I, me personally, I don't really like makeup. I don't like women that wear makeup, you know. I like, I like a, a, a beautiful, just natural skin, you know, just, like, it's cool when you're doing certain things, go ahead, because that's part of being a woman, I think, is being able to get dolled up and things like that, but just on some every occasion type shit, like, we going to the movies, you ain't got to put on some six-inch lashes and color your eyelids and make different fucking freckles on your face that ain't there for real. You know, it's just a little shit like that, a little shit like that, you know. I think we could keep it just gutter, you feel me? Just keep it real. And that's going to happen because I'm trying to promote a new group, which is uh, called Only For The Real, which is going to try to set the the tone and uh, the president for... uh, what we're what, what 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 society should be, which is just being comfortable in your own skin, fuck what people think, because you know back to the Nicki Minaj Remy Ma thing. I feel like if Nicki Minaj is really comfortable in her skin, she gonna spit bars, and she ain't gonna say nothing about her ass. But if she gotta say something like. La 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 la, bitch. Yeah, my face, my ass, face. Right? Those are the things you you lost already. You know, lipo in your stomach and your belly. Whatever Marini Ma said, she was a fool on that. You know. Yeah, she got at her. She said you fucked the whole empire. What you think you cookie? That wasn't even hard like that, but that was just a, a one of the many that was in there. That's why I like that. And I hope Nicki Minaj can come off, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not going to get back with Safari, at least suck the nigga dick or something and make him feel good to where he like, all right, cool. All right, yeah. I'm I'm, going to write this last verse for you. Even though you you play me, I'm going to write this last verse for you. And we good. We good. Because, honestly... <clears throat> what she said was somewhat true since she has stopped dealing with Safari. She hasn't been the same Nikki. Um, she's still Nicki Minaj, none the least. She still carries her own, none the least. But at the end of the dinner, she is not the Sine. But that's just my opinion, not saying I agree with what she said or, or not. But that is a fact. So she definitely want to do what she can to get her old fling back. Fling, fling, fling. Her old thing back, you know. Uh, 
you you at this point in time, you you need him because same way Meek Mill needed you, in a way you was needing him because y'all star power was a way more powerful than y'all music. At, at certain points in y'all relationship to where people wasn't so much critiquing you guys on your music side as often or as much as they would if you guys weren't together. I guess it was more entertaining to see you guys posting pictures with money and, and you know, just doing y'all, being happy and and hearing him rap about you a thousand times in one song that's talking about, like, something totally different. But, you know, we respect him. But just tell him, somebody, to humble himself because you need to get your girl back because she held you down. You need to hold her down. Straight up. Uh, it's only right. She held you down, bro, because she ain't even, she ain't down as bad as you was down. Even with this first one, she ain't down like that. But no response, Remy hit another one? Yeah. So you need to, you need to, you need to humble yourself, posting videos, dancing to the, the diss track. You look like a hoe, my nigga. Like, you was just crying about this bra, my nigga. Like, like now you look so so soft like like a straight pussy. So please get it together. Um, Philly, y'all need to DP this nigga. Um, I say y'all pull a real nigga conference together and... Uh, Just DPM. You need to be disciplined. You need to be sat down, talk to something. Um, but him going online, doing that, just made him look like a super hoe, a whole entire hoe. Uh, so uh, we want to definitely pray for Nika and uh, Meek. Uh, and uh, with that being said. This has been another episode of Politicking. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Showing your love. Follow us on Twitter. At We Politicking. Like us on Facebook. Politicking Podcast. Hear full episodes on twine.fm slash nation's finest and dog. Um, yeah. Shout out to Shot97. YouTube page, website, home is down supporting us. Yeah, I'm whipping over, I be getting over, I be sliding her over, getting money, I'm texting these niggas, ain't no love on this shit, ain't no love on this shit. Hello.